everyone. Today we're diving into a topic that's as intriguing as it is critical. Taiwan's secret revenge strategy against China. What's really going on behind the headlines? Let's unravel this together. For decades, Taiwan and China have had a complex relationship. Officially, China views Taiwan as part of its territory, despite Taiwan's self-governance since 1949. Tensions have always been high, but recent developments suggest Taiwan is not just on the defense anymore. They've got a plan, a revenge plan. So what is this secret strategy? It's all about alliances and technology. Taiwan is strengthening ties with global powers, the US, Japan, and even Europe. These aren't just friendly exchanges, they are strategic, aimed at bolstering Taiwan's international standing and its military capabilities. On the technological front, Taiwan is a giant, home to some of the world's leading tech firms. It's leveraging this advantage. Taiwan is enhancing its cyber defense systems, a crucial battlefield of the modern age. They're not just protecting against threats, they're preparing to retaliate if provoked. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Taiwan is also reportedly investing in asymmetric warfare capabilities. This means focusing on strategies that can make a more powerful adversary like China second-guess any aggressive moves. Think anti-ship missiles, mobile air defense systems, and advanced drone technology. Why does this matter? It's about deterrence. By bolstering these capabilities, Taiwan sends a clear message. Any aggression will come at a high cost. This isn't just about defense, it's about making the stakes unpalatably high for China. Now, while this might sound like a tale of espionage and military tactics, it's also a story about a small island standing firm against a giant. Taiwan is showing the world that it won't be intimidated, that it values its sovereignty and the safety of its citizens above all else. But let's remember, the path of aggression is fraught with risks. Both sides stand to lose a lot in terms of human lives and global stability. The hope is always for a resolution through dialogue and peaceful means. Yet, as we've seen, Taiwan is not sitting back. It's preparing, it's planning, and it's not afraid to stand up. As we watch this unfold, one thing is clear. The implications of Taiwan's strategies extend far beyond its shores. They affect global politics, economics, and the very principle of national sovereignty. So, what do you think about Taiwan's approach? Is it a necessary measure of self-defense? Or does it risk escalating tensions even further? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this analysis helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights on complex global issues. See you next time.